we're going to be taking you through all of the math skills you need for A-level chemistry. All of these videos are sorted into a playlist, and in this video, we're going to be looking at one of the core fundamentals, working out relative formula mass. In this video, we're going to go through the, the basics and really simple questions, explaining things really slowly, and then you can move on to some of the harder videos in the playlist where we incorporate this skill into lots and lots of other questions. Here we're having a look at some questions on the relative formula mass. And here we're asked to find the relative formula mass, or MR, or sometimes we might even hear it called the molar mass, of a few different substances just to get in a bit of practice. Okay, so what I'd suggest you do here to be able to do these questions yourself is to get your periodic table out and have a look at all of the atomic masses that are on your periodic table because those are going to be the things that we need to be able to answer these questions. So let's have a start by having a look at question A, which is finding the MR of C2H6. So to do this, the first thing we want to do is to have a look at the periodic table and see that carbon has a mass of 12 and hydrogen has a mass of one. So now that we know that, we can look at the formula, which is C2H6, and we can tell ourselves, well, we have two of these 12s, because we have two carbons, and we have six hydrogens. So we'll do two times 12 plus six times one. Now that gives us 30. And so what this tells us then is that our MR of this ethane, C2H6, is 30 grams per mole. And that is the answer to question A. So now let's have a look at B. And this is looking at calcium nitrate. So to do this, we'll look at calcium and we'll see that that has a mass of 40.1. We can see nitrogen has a mass of 14 and oxygen has a mass of 16. So now that we know all these things, we can go and look at the formula, which is calcium brackets NO32. And we want to think, well, how much of each atom do we have here? We can see here that we have just one of the calcium, so we have 40.1, but then we have two nitrogens because of the bracket. So there's a two outside the bracket, which means everything inside is doubled. So we have two times 14 for the nitrogen, and then we actually end up seeing for the oxygen, because we have two times that three, we actually have six oxygens here. So we're going to do six times 16. So if we add those all up together, we will get our answer for the MR of this. And in this case, we end up getting an MR equal to 164.1. So that means that the MR of this calcium nitrate is 164.1 grams per mole. Perfect. So hopefully this is making a lot of sense now. We just use the periodic table, we look at the mass numbers, and then we look at the formula and tally up how much of each atom we have. Let's have a look at question C. So now we have ammonium sulfate, so more brackets here. So nitrogen we know has a mass of 14, hydrogen has a mass of one, sulfur has a mass of 32.1, and oxygen has a mass of 16. So here we'll look at the formula, and we're going to look at how much of each atom we have. So here we have ammonium sulfate. So looking at the number of nitrogens, we can see because of that bracket, we have two of the 14s, two of the nitrogens. So see here, we look at what's inside the bracket and what's outside the bracket and sort of multiply them. So next up, let's look at the hydrogens. So here I can see that we have eight hydrogens for the same reason as before. So we've got four in the bracket, two outside the bracket, we'll multiply those together to make eight. So then we've got one sulfur, 32.1, and four oxygens. So all together now, we'll put all this into the calculator and we will end up getting an answer for the MR of ammonium sulfate equal to 132.1 grams per mole. And that there is the solution here to our part C. Let's have a look now at question D. Okay, so now we have phosphoric acid. So we've got hydrogen, which has a mass of one. We have phosphorus, which has a mass equal to 31. 
and we have oxygen which has a mass equal to 16. So this formula is a bit simpler in that there's no brackets. So here we're going to have 3 times 1 and then plus 31 for the phosphorus and then plus 4 times 16 for the oxygens. So we will tap those away into the calculator and end up getting a mass equal to 98. So in this case the MR of phosphoric acid is equal to 98 grams per mole. And that there is the answer to question D. Okay, so now we have iron hydroxide. And looking in the periodic table, we see that iron has an, a mass equal to 55.8. Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. So if we look at this formula here, so Fe and then brackets OH3. So we know we've just got one of the 55.8s for the ions. Then we have three oxygens and we have three hydrogens. So here, if we put all that into the calculator, end up getting a mass equal to 106.8. And that there is going to be the MR of iron 3 hydroxide. It's going to be 106.8 grams per mole. So now for our last part of this exercise, part F, we have aluminium sulphate. So looking at the periodic table, we know that aluminium has a mass of 27, sulphur has a mass equal to 32.1, and oxygen has a mass of 16. So looking at that formula of aluminium sulphate, we can see that we have two aluminiums, so we have two times 27, and then you can see we have three sulphurs, so we've got three times 32.1. And then for the oxygens, if we look at the formula, because there's the four and the three outside the brackets, we actually have 12 of the oxygen, so 12 times 16. And that ends up giving us a mass equal to 342.3, which means that the MR of this aluminium sulfate is 342.3 grams per mole. So that is the end of this little exercise. It's such an important thing to understand how to do this. Particularly important for those formulas that have brackets in. So I hope that that has cleared up exactly how we do it. As time goes on, you're going to really see the importance of calculating relative formula mass. We will learn about how we calculate moles later, and that involves us knowing MRs. So good work, I will see you on the next exercise. Bye. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.